new multi-session mode of Top Solid 2017 makes it easy for you to work on multiple things simultaneously. In this basic sample, we're just going to show you how it functions. To begin with, I've opened up an assembly of my quadcopter, and I'm going to start doing some work on it. I'm going to go to the mechanisms, and I may go to my tasks under the mechanisms, and I may edit my scenario. Um, I may add the missing elements in here. So I think I need to add my, uh, my cam control. I want it to run about there, and I want my cam negative control to run about there. And that's pretty cool. So I'm going to leave that open, and I'm going to dock it over here because it just dawned on me that I'd like to also work on something else while I'm working on that. So I'm connecting, again, to the same local PDM server. Here I'm going to load the same drone. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do once I dock this on the side is I'm going to point out something about the project. It might be hard to see in the video, but there's a red floppy disk in the project tree to the right and a blue floppy disk in the project tree to the left. The blue floppy disk is the guy who's in control of the document right now. Now here I'm going to hit save and watch what happens. The disk goes away, I go back onto the other one, and the red disk goes away. So now I can take control of the document on the right. So again, I'm basically working in real time in a PDM environment, just locally on my computer. So here I'm going to go make a couple more changes. I'm going to go back into my scenario, and maybe here, I don't know, tweak a little bit there, do whatever. And again, showing that the floppy disks have changed. I'm going to save, and now it's back to open to be edited on either. Now, just rotating the part around is not an edit. So until you actually do something that warrants addition, nothing's going to happen. Now let's do something more fun. Here, for example, I'm going to hit play. So I'm playing my simulation on the left-hand side, but on the right-hand side, I'm going to say, you know what? I think I'd like to start doing a rendering, maybe. Who knows? So I'll let that simulation play in the background. And I'm going to come over to here to my visualization tools, and I may start working on a rendering. Why not? Maybe someone in sales called me up and said, hey, man, can you send me quickly just a rendering? Whatever you got. I just need something to put into a presentation. Cool. So I'm going to start just banging this out. I'm going to change the size of the rendering and whatnot. I'll put this right where I need it to be. Eh, it looks good enough for what the sales guys need. And I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side. My simulation seems to be done on that side, which is cool. I'm going to hit play again because, well, why not? It's just fun. And here I'm going to hit display preview. And now here we get to really show the power of Top Solid because we're running two full sessions of Top Solid working in the same project, accessing all the cores of that computer. And look, that rendering was done almost instantaneously still. I mean, that's the power of Top Solid. That's just awesome. So now we've done that. Cool, the preview looks good. So I'm going to say green check mark, and then I'll go ahead and click OK to that as well and let it save that final rendering. And then we'll come back to the other one. And what else can we do? Let's close this. And now let's show you what this looks like if you're on client server mode. Because, you know, if you're on client server mode, you should be able to do the same thing. And that's exactly what we're going to show you. So here I'm going to connect to my client server mode. So now here, this is working like we have a server installed and we have our local workspaces set up and we're working in really a team environment. That's why you have client server mode. But sometimes even in a team environment, you want to connect and work on the same thing simultaneously just as well. So here I'm going to do something silly like, oh, I don't know, change the color of the part. Why not? I'll make it green. And boom, done, OK. And the synchronization happens as soon as we save. And on the screen on the right, there you go.